Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. Today we're viewing another one of these G Fuel flavors, but this one is going to be on the Ninja Candy, or oh sorry, Ninja Cotton Candy. Yeah, that's great, Ninja Cotton Candy. So I got this particular drink out of Sweets and Sour. Uh, it cost me £3.99 for the can, which is not too bad since you can pay £5 upwards for some of these cans on other websites. Anyway, so let's give you guys a 4360 of the can. So we have a uh, different kind of, well, I'd say a different design, but G Fuel's kind of normal design is this kind of like a moon shaped crescent uh, kind of design, but these ones are really, really thin and long. Normally, the kind of moon shaped crescent things are a lot, lot kind of shorter and wider, but these ones seem to be stretched out and a lot different, so they're kind of along the similar lines of their kind of usual design, but for the most part, it's yeah, it's kind of just all these lines and stuff going into the middle of the logo, which doesn't look too bad, but you know, some of the G Fuel cans are absolutely insane when it comes to the uh, packaging but anyways yeah so we've got the g fuel logo and stuff on the front nutritional facts on the back and then there's some statue figures down the side and of course ninja himself there the bottom's got nothing and the top is all standard and silver including the pull ring so anyways taking a closer look at the can so around the top here around the top of the can we've got performance energy zero sugar and extreme focus now, I'm sure we are all aware of who Ninja is. He's one of those uh, streamers, you know, as, as we all know. Uh, it's a 473 milliliter can. Now, down here on the side, you've got some some random some random figures, and it says energy, focus, endurance, and then reaction. I've done that because it's got the hand there saying reaction, so reaction. Anyways, zero artificial colors, zero sugar per can, zero calories per can. And interestingly, and I did notice this, this particular flavor has 140 milligrams of caffeine in total. <clears throat> now, every other G Fuel I've reviewed to this point has had 300 milligrams of caffeine in total. Pretty much, I wanna say double, but it is pretty much double of what this is. So I wonder whether they have dropped the caffeine content of this one for when I guess because it's ninja i guess if young kids do pick it up or drink it or get hold of it for whatever reason when they really really shouldn't be drinking it i'm talking about you know young young kids i guess there's less caffeine in here than 300 milligrams I, I, that's my best bet really um without googling it and actually trying to find an answer if there is an answer to it um uh, that's my best get to why the caffeine is only 140 milligrams instead of 300 milligrams in total because let's be honest if a you know a six seven eight year old didn't manage to get a can of this somehow or whatever it's better that they drank 140 milligrams of caffeine than 300 milligrams of caffeine so there we go anyways uh, so looking on the back it is indeed zero grams of sugar uh let's see and it hasn't got any high fructose corn soup because again it's trying to be more healthy with the, you know, the colorings or whatever whatever anyway so yes it's pretty self-explanatory this is literally going to be cotton candy flavor obviously ninja's literally just you know obviously sponsored this uh one but anyways it's nice and cold got my zesty lump studios cup but nevertheless let's open it and hopefully it won't explode over me so i'm guessing the color is going to be again some sort of clear color i know some of these have got kind of a yellowy kind of tinge to it but for the most part they are clear in color right don't explode over me There we go, we are safe. Pretty of a tough pouring. Made in on my finger there, as you can probably see. Ouch. Right. And the colour is. Surprise, surprise. There we go, put that to one side. So the fizz seemed to be about normal fizz for these kind of drinks. You know, it doesn't seem to be as fizzy as Coke or Pepsi, which is. Generally, I find them drinks kind of too fizzy. I generally prefer middle of the line or lightly sparkling or fizz. But yeah, the colour is is clear, as you can see. There doesn't seem to be any sort of tinged colour to this one. But um, yeah, for the most part, this one is definitely nice and clear. And you can see my face, hello, through the drink. 
Anyways, let's give it a closer smell and see what it smells of. Oh wow. So if you're probably wondering what cotton candy is, if you're not from, I don't know, I guess, I assume most of the world has cotton candy. I really don't know. But if you don't know what cotton candy is, well, basically it's chemicals and sugar to, to, to sum it up, basically. But what it is, it's like this, it's almost like spider's web in a way. Um, that's kind of like all puffy and, you know, if you get like loads of loose kind of spider webs floating around, it's kind of like, just imagine wrapping them up wrapping them up and putting them on a stick and then eating them or kind of inhaling it because it kind of just dissolves when you put your tongue on it kind of thing in, in your mouth so that's kind of what cotton candy is basically but ultimately yeah, it's just chemicals and sugar <laughs> yeah it does it does smell just it does that really sweet kind of as it says that cotton candy smell hmm well, nevertheless, guys, let's taste some. Hmm. Well, I'll say straight off the bat that it doesn't remind me of cotton candy initially. Hmm. Okay, interesting. So I mean, I mean, in terms of me having cotton candy, it's been, wow, it's been in forever since I had cotton candy. It's been years and years and years. This is a bad cotton candy, but no, most of us do remember what it, you know, it tastes like as a kid or whatever but that just seems to me so my initial reaction to it when i first drank it i was kind of like mm, okay this isn't really cotton candy as such if anything it tastes like it does remind me of another drink and i can't remember which drink it was but in essence it, it just reminds me of a kind of generic just sweet taste really to be honest with you it doesn't really actually pinpoint down the cotton candy flavor as such or actually you know feel like you are drinking cotton candy or anything like that so a bit of a let down on that side to be fair this one doesn't have any chemical or it doesn't have any chemical taste i don't know whether it's because i know cotton candy and stuff can be quite artificial as just a flavor and just as a kind of you know naturally what it is but i don't think this has got any artificial taste i think it's just it's just kind of a generic sweet, sweet flavour. And I think that's kind of what is putting me off from kind of really liking the drink. Now I drink it and I get nothing and then get this little bit of sweet flavour at the end of the drink. And that's about it. And again, if you gave it to someone, you'd, you'd say to them, it just tastes of like just some, some sweets, basically something like that. In fact, I just remember what drink this reminds me of. It reminds me of that that birthday cake drink. I can't remember the actual brand, but there was a drink that was tasted of birthday cake, or supposedly birthday cake. And this reminds me of that. It tastes more like a birthday cake, which, I mean, yeah, you could say it's, I guess, similar to cotton candy, but cotton candy can come in various different flavors and styles. I mean, I know in America you can get Dr. Pepper candy, but there we go, but, um, yeah, it reminds me of that kind of birthday cake taste more than anything, which, yeah, is okay for what it is, but it's really, it's really not a nice popping flavour, and it's just, it's just, there's no flavour at the beginning, you get the little burst of flavour at the end, and it's just, yeah, it's just not, it's just not a nice flavour, so this birthday cake kind of, all, the, all them style of flavours, they, they just don't make a good any general flavour, you think they would, and you think they'd be really nice and stuff, but in reality, they just do not make a good flavour because of just how naturally, chemically they are as a flavour in real life. Trying to, you know, copy that in an energy drink form just doesn't work most of the time for those flavours. So 
it just isn't disgusting but it's certainly just not great whatsoever so i think on the zesty scale of one to ten i think i'll give this oh i think i'll give it a four yeah four zesties out of ten it's just it's just not nice i mean i, I don't know whether i'll finish it off camera but you know i'll make my mind up on that but it's yeah it's yeah it's, it's just not great guys honestly save your money if you are looking to buy these g fuels on this one buy the other flavors there's certainly much more better flavors out there but anyways everyone thanks for watching and i'll see you all later Oh, <music>